For example, the human fetal skull not only begins its development with more bony elements than the adult skull, it begins with bony elements which are homologous to those found in more primitive vertebrates. The fossil record indicates that many of the bones of the human skull are composite bones which develop from the fusion of multiple ancestral bones. Mammalian ancestors did not possess occipital, temporal, or sphenoid bones. Instead, they possessed a series of smaller bones which gradually fused to form the single composite mammalian bones we find in adult humans. Mammalian ancestors possessed, and human embryos possess, two frontal bones, two vomer bones, and two dentary bones, which fuse to form the single bones in adult modern mammals. Mammalian ancestors and human embryos possessed multiple separate elements, which fuse to form the occipital, temporal, sphenoid, and ethmoid bones. Some adult humans possess atypical bony elements, which may be called sutural or wormian bones, if embryonic ossification centers fail to fuse. Human embryos and more recent mammals possess a premaxillary bone, which fuses to the maxilla in adult humans. In a gradual process lasting tens of millions of years, the bones of the reptilian jaw joint, the quadrate and the articular, became tiny bones which the first mammals incorporated into the middle ear. The angular bone of the lower jaw was also reduced. In human embryos, these bones begin their development in the region of the jaw and are subsequently incorporated into the ear, where the angular supports the tympanum and the quadrate and the articular, now called the malleus and incus, function in hearing as middle ear bones. Although the notochord no longer serves as a longitudinal support in most modern vertebrates because it has been replaced by a vertebral column, the notochord is still present in all vertebrate embryos. Human embryos possess a notochord running from head to tail as their initial longitudinal support. The human vertebral column develops as small pieces of cartilage around the notochord which are converted to bone, expand, and fuse and eventually replace the notochord. The fossil record indicates that these same steps occurred during the evolution of vertebrae. The first two vertebrae, the atlas and axis, fuse from a series of parts which reflect their ancestral origin. Although adult hips are composed of a single bone, the os coxa, the three separate components of this bone, ilium, ischium, and pubis, prior to adulthood are the same separate bones possessed by most tetrapods. The clavicle also forms from the fusion of multiple centers, reflecting its ancestral origin. Although adult humans lack the cervical or lumbar ribs typical of early tetrapods, these structures form in embryonic development and fuse to the neighboring vertebrae, forming the transverse processes of these vertebrae. Contrary to what would be expected from the intelligent design model, there is not one single mechanism which is absolutely required for the formation of an adult structure. For example, comparable adult connective tissues such as bone can be formed from different embryonic tissues, mesoderm, tail bud mesenchyme, or neural crest cells.